Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be talking about the Hummer EV and thankfully you guys are some amazing subscribers and followers specifically over on Instagram right now for these two people who sent me over these awesome images and videos but we can see the all new upcoming Hummer EV pickup truck um, out in the wild out prototype testing. Now Hummer themselves have released a lot of videos and stuff kind of showing off the Watts the Freedom which is kind of like their um, launch control mode and a few other crab walk videos as well but this is kind of seeing it in real life in person kind of in the early prototype stage that it still is in so we're going to thank um ronick um, dot master for sending us this awesome video i'm about to show you as well as cold um cold brood daily for sending us some more images and video of the um, hummer eb out um on the uh, pickup truck i believe being towed i guess to different locations for different testing stuff so thank you guys for sending this and let's kind of go through some of the stuff about the hummer eb talk about it and go through some of these videos so as we can see on this video right here it's kind of just taking a walk around tour of the Hummer EV out just sitting in the wild, you know, just sitting there. I'm guessing um, GM does, and Ford and a lot of other manufacturers around the world have engineers they'll send out with these vehicles to send home, send home to go um, continue some development testing, as well as get some miles on the cars to kind of um, help develop the cars further. And I guess this is kind of a case here because it looks like it's just parked in a typical like suburban neighborhood or something, um, just on the side of the street. So I'm guessing maybe someone may live there or an engineer may live there or something in that case, but just looking around this um, quick little walk around video we can see kind of how all the parts are pretty stripped down um it's still like tr uh, there's not like the final production tail tail lights or headlights on there um there's still some mis mismatched panels and stuff but that's that's how it sh should be this is a prototype test mule car they're kind of just like testing a whole bunch of all that stuff out testing the software testing the batteries all the different systems as well as maybe even different body panels trim pieces and all that sort of stuff um, because there is a lot of unique things on the hummer ev and of course we can see in these other images we can kind of see the same thing as well where we're seeing the hummer ev kind of in a similar stripped down state um interesting to see the red badging on this one i wasn't expecting that too much I mean, you can also see um um, I guess it's being towed to a different location to go testing. Maybe they didn't, maybe it broke down. I don't think it broke down, but um, I don't know why it was on there. It was probably just being moved from different location to location. Um, so yeah, this is just like kind of a quick spy shot look of the Hummer EV out in the wild. But I think we need to talk about some of the stuff with the Hummer EV because there is a lot of stuff here. Um, so I, I'm considering the Hummer EV myself, and I think a lot of people are, as kind of GM's first big test bed for their new um, Ultium battery technology, as well as their new modular platforms, and kind of getting everything started. So I think the C8 Corvette was kind of like that kind of like vanguard product for a new digital infrastructure, which is their new wiring systems and new technology, which is now trickling down to all other GM products. And I think the Hummer EV is kind of that sort of like vanguard, like big project that's kind of kind of pushed the way for their new EV technology. Um, so they're kind of testing all the this material out on here for the first time, really. And there is a lot of stuff. So as you've seen for a while now, the design of the Hummer EV is very Hummer. It's a huge vehicle. You know, there's the LED light bar up front. There's the LED lights back, out back. Very big, kind of futuristic, um, like Hummerish design. Um, this one does have, of course, the remov removable sky panels as, as well. Um, and you know, we're looking at the first edition version. So this one has all the stuff. So it's fully loaded. It has a gold trim on the inside. There's massive 35 inch rubber. Um, the LED lights. There's going to have all the different features. Um, inside is very, very, very um, high tech. So we have a 13.4 inch massive center touchscreen, a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, um, loads of different like, cool features. Like even the design of the buttons really unique, kind of like um, off-roady. It looks rugged, but also luxurious at the same time, that kind of blend. There's um, 18 different camera views going around the vehicle. There's a drift gauge, yeah, on a giant 9,000 plus pound um, SUV um, or pickup truck basically. There's a drift gauge and yeah, there's a lot of like features going on here. Um, and of course, the big kind of talking point is the powertrain as well. So since um, the top range version is coming first, it's gonna have their tri-motor top range, top spec powertrain. Of course, we've heard the number thrown around a lot, a thousand horsepower, um, that big 11,000, 11,500 pound feet of torque figure. I don't think that's like the actual real number. I think GM's just estimating that number. I don't think they're calculating it at the wheels directly to the ground. There's a weird way they're calculating that, but there's gonna be a lot of torque regardless on this vehicle. Um, as well as the um, GM Ultium battery technology. This is the first, I think, vehicle that we're gonna see with the Ultium battery technology. Um, 
Now these battery cells are um, kind of like a modular and a pouch style, so they kind of be stacked and placed in different directions, which is nice. Tesla uses more of like a skateboard sheet battery, which is in one giant single piece, and you can't do that actually. So it's kind of fixed. This is kind of like a modular battery. There's like, they come in different packs. They're gonna be moved around um, higher, like stacked on top of each other or spread out. Um, which is interesting. Um, this system also features up to 800 volt DC fast charging, but the battery normally runs around 400 volts, so it is capable of that 800 volt DC fast charging, which is nice to see, um, which means I think 350 kilowatts of actually fast charging, so it's like 100 miles a minute, uh, 100 miles in 10 minutes, I believe that's how, what they're talking about. Um, and then this top spec version, once you enable the watts to freedom mode, so the watts to freedom mode kind of unleashes all the power of the battery at once. I think they have a quick video kind of showing that. Um, yeah, so that will get you to zero to 60 in like three seconds, which moving this massive, massive vehicle around um, in three seconds is pretty insane, um, but I, I think. Of course, there are three motors helping it to do that. I mean, we're seeing everything here. Where they're th really throwing everything at this vehicle. And I, when I really do mean everything, I do actually mean everything. Um, so it has, um, air suspension, there's an air suspension system that is going to be able to kind of help the vehicle go up and down. There's an extract mode that can help you get out of like um, sticky situations. It can raise up six inches, which is also nice. Of course, we have, like I mentioned before, there's a 35 inch Goodyear Wrangler territory, mountain terrain tires, um, mountain terrain tires, really impressive. There, and, oh wow, this I didn't even know this part, I was just reading this real quick. The Hummer EV is capable of fitting 37 inch rubber, so if you wanna shove even bigger tires on there, you can, which is crazy. Of course, it can forward, I think, a pretty deep amount of water as well, which is interesting. So that means there's a lot of like sealing gonna have to go on with all those electrical components. Um, it does come with underbody armor as well. There is ultra vision, they call it. So there's kind of like if you've seen, um, uh, Range Rover's current clear view system, I think it's clear sight system, where you kind of have like a virtual look through your hood, almost through the um, infotainment system. This kind of has a similar system, so you can kind of see where the wheels are, kind of look through the hood in a way. Um, there's cameras around the vehicle when you're off-roading or going in like a, a tight parking lot or something where this vehicle is probably going to see most of its time. Um, of course, and one of the other big highlight features is the crab walk. So basically all the wheels are able to turn in one direction or another at very low speeds and the vehicle can almost walk diagonally a little bit kind of diagonally more than directly horizontally, but it's pretty um, impressive. And there's, I think a, a video somewhere, I, I can't find it right now. I've been trying to find it all day of a whole bunch of the Hummer EVs kind of on a highway, just crab walking across each other, which is really funny. Um, so I'm sure we're gonna see that a lot. I'm sure it's gonna be one of the highlight features, um, kind of like all of our social media. And just real quick on this top end version, we're gonna see around, they say estimated over 350 miles of range. Um, this is probably gonna be an absolutely massive battery pack. I don't think anyone has actually has an official kilowatt hour um, size of the battery pack, but it's probably gonna be huge. Um, they say a 24 module double stacked Ultium battery propulsion system. That's crazy. That's sending power to um, three different motors, uh, moving like over 9,000, over 8,500 8, or almost like 9,000 pounds or something. It's crazy. So I'm sure it's a huge battery pack. So I'm sure if it was a smaller vehicle, it probably would have gotten an incredible amount of range, but 350 miles of range in this type of vehicle is still actually pretty impressive. Um, on the technology side, of course, we talked a lot about the technology stuff. Another some of the gimmick stuff is GMC's um, multi-pro tailgate, as this is still technically a GMC Hummer uh, at the end of the day. Um, and of course, um, they are offering it with the newest generation of um, Super Cruise. So Super Cruise is not only only gonna be on Cadillac anymore, it's gonna spread out throughout the GM vehicles. This one is gonna have Super Cruise as well. So um, it's kind of like an autopilot style system, but like, you know, adaptive cruise control on certain highways. This one's a bit more restricted to like more of the highways that they've already mapped out. So it's a little bit more restricted in that sense. Um, and of course we cannot forget that there is going to be the upcoming GMC Hummer SUV as well. So it's basically this, just the SUV version of the pickup truck. So it's kind of just covered up. Um, so that'll be coming later on, even further later on than the um, EV pickup. And let's talk about that later on part because I think that's pretty important. So coming up first is the first edition, the first limited first edition. Now it's gonna be top spec. I'm, I think over $100,000 or something like that. It's crazy expensive. And they say it's gonna come out around next, late next year to 2023. 
Then we're gonna have the official kind of like um, range. So we're gonna see in 2022, late 20, or late 2022, it's early 2023, we'll have the EV3X. So that's the top range version without basically the first edition packages. That's gonna cost $99,000. I'm sure there's gonna be dealer markups as well, and of course options. Um, and that one's gonna have the three motor powertrain as well. Then later on in late 2023, hopefully they're gonna to try to expedite this stuff. Um, we'll see the EV2X, which will be $89,000. Um, I think that's gonna have a smaller powertrain. I think um, uh, two motors instead of three. And then finally, we'll see the base spec EV2, um, which is gonna be around $79,000. And I believe that one's rear wheel drive only, um, since it's just EV2 and EV2X or something like that. And that's coming all the way, all the way out in like 2024. So this is a long drawn out kind of process. And I believe the Hummer SUV, the um, SUV version, the GMC Hummer EV SUV, a crazy long name, that one's not coming out for a while. So. If you guys really want that one, you're going to have to wait on that. I believe they're, it's coming out um, in 2023 or 2024. So we ha still have a long while to go for this. Um, and GM does have a lot of other EV products they're working on throughout all their brands. So Cadillac, um, Chevy. I don't really know too much about Buick in the US, but I know Buick's doing a lot of stuff in China. But regardless, there's a lot of stuff in the EV segment that's coming. So thank you guys for just enjoying this quick little video, talking a little bit quickly about the GMC Hummer EV, as well as just looking at these cool spy shots that um, you guys, your amazing followers, have sent over for me to use. Um, thank you again, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming soon.